So, after a 4-0 win, a massive progression from Saturday, how, how are you feeling after that emphatic win? No, yeah, it was um, a scoreline that's been coming for a while, in my opinion. Um, you know, performance level it was excellent to watch. Enjoyed watching us play first half. Uh, thought we got in some great areas, and um, you know, it's, it's been the way for a while now. I think you know, it's just a matter of us taking our chances, and you know, a scoreline that uh, like that away from home should give us like bags of belief now to to progress on. Fantastic. And uh, in the first half, going in, you know. Uh, we get the goal early, well, early-ish through the mid, midway half-time. What, what were you thinking at half-time, 1-0 up? Were you thinking defend, hold out for the 1-0 or try and progress for more? Because obviously the second half really showed more an attacking way, like you're saying. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's how I like to be. I like to be, you know, um, attacking, attacking-minded all the time. I like to go forward and... Um, get lots of whip and uh, you know make the opposition defend as much as possible. So that's how I like like to be and what I like to watch. Um, so yeah, it's always in my mind to um, be be positive with changes. And I knew I had Popey and Jimmy sat behind me, good to get on. And uh, you know, it's just a matter of time. I wanted to unleash them. And you know, as the game was getting more stretched, I felt there could be space and chances for them two to take. As well, going uh, you know into the later stages of the game, didn't just sit back uh, again like you say, attacking. But also at times we were 100% in the possession kind of rate. We kept the ball nicely. Was that kind of something you said to the boys? If you go, if you come out, play well in the second half, get a couple of goals, and control the play. Is that what you kind of said to them? Yeah, I mean that's how I tried to set up. Um, it doesn't always look like that, but we tried to dominate the ball, dominate possession, and. Um, yeah, uh, obviously them going down to ten men late on in the game um, allowed us to do that a little bit more. Um, but yeah, that's, that's how I like to set up, how I like to play. I like to be nice and expensive when we've got the ball and um, to pass it, um, keep it on the ground and keep possession, dominate the ball. And it, you know, I, I thought we've done that brilliantly. Like I say, it's, it's a pleasure to watch uh, first half. Pleasure, to, pleasure to watch us um, play. Just sitting there and, and you know. All the time it's only one nil, you know, on a pitch like that. It, it, it played really well, to be, to be fair. But you know, there's only a slip or a mistake, and it's, it's back level. So the second goal was massive. Um, I say I thought it was important um, with them losing recently as well to Tooting. I thought it was important that we went and got the first goal. So that's how we try to set up today. Any star, any star performances, or someone you want to kind of say today stood out for you and has kind of almost got that man of the match on any No, any not behalf? really. For me, it's, it's all about the team. Um, if there's any players I want to pick out, it'd be the, the five that have travelled and not been in the squad. Um, you know, that's, that's what we've got now. We've got 21 with Ryle Overdon, who's gone for a scan tomorrow to see the extent of his damage and hopefully he's on the road to recovery now as well. So, you know, 22 players. Um, Within, within the squad now and I just said to them before the game it's important now that when they get the opportunity they, they go and take it um, similar to like, like Clark he's done he, he had to wait three months training and every um, he, he come in and was patient and then you get the opportunity you've got to, you've got to stake your claim and take the shirt and that's, that's how it's got to be uh, there's no point sulking and stuff like that you just got to be, be ready and every session has got to be um, got to be at it we've got to have high intensity to our sessions and that will help everyone keep progressing. And just to end it really, um, fantastic start to 2018, I'd say for sure, and a lot of other fans would agree. But now looking third from bottom, how, how does that make you feel? It certainly is, uh, we've come such a long way, and now to be third from bottom and, you know, kind of in, 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 the, in the kind of shift and the gear that we're, we're really looking for. How does that, how does that um, impact you? Just, just for me, just focus on today's game, and um, you know, I was delighted with, with the performance. Um, it's, a, it's a build on, like you say, the, the last game. Um, it's a build on Saturday, um, but there'll still be loads to, to work on and improve, and you know, be more of look. This is what we do well, and you know, just to keep playing to the lads and keep on improving, and that's all we can do. Um, you know, the, the league table will look after itself if we keep performing the way we are, and. Um, you know, Enfield at home now, and all our focus will go in Thursday into preparing us right for that. And um, we look for hopefully another big crowd because the fans have been excellent again coming to support us again today. Um, another big crowd at home at um, 
and fully behind the lads like they do, and we'll try and put on a, a display for them. Brilliant. Cheers. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Oh.